people of today, tomorrow, but not people of yesterday. You don't exist anymore. Uh, so, quick explanation. I'm going to be making a series. It's going to be just a really long series where I do one thing, and one thing only. Uh, CAD something similar to this shape. Uh, I already know what it's going to be. Uh, most people can kind of just boom, boom. Uh, it's going to be a Nerf gun. Pretty much. Or a gun that shoots nerf darts, more specifically, I guess. Brand stuff and other stuff. But, yeah, so let's see how this goes, and uh, let's get right down to it. So I, right now I'm working with SolidWorks, pretty powerful software for 3D modeling. Um, so just quick run through of stuff that I've done. Uh, that is not important. I have this huge folder of just stuff that I've done. Uh, oh, this one's a personal favorite. It's a mechanical music amplifier. So what I do is I stick my phone right here and it's based on a parabola or a circular paraboloid is what the shape is called, the inside. And the focus is exactly one inch. So all the waves, uh, when the speaker is right here, all the waves shoot out of it like it's a just a big ass speaker it makes it 10 times louder it makes it bounce all over the walls of the apartment um, I'll demonstrate that at some point which really excited about that um, I have it 3d printed uh, you probably heard that right here knocking on it uh, spray painted it gold green and blackish so it's kind of like a really weird camo but not camo kind of looks like oxidized brass a little bit uh, but you can still see the the markings to it like the the grain that it has when you 3D print it. So, cool stuff. Uh, let's also look at some other stuff that I've done that was weird. Um, oh, yeah, so this one's fun. So, I've started working uh, as part of a Christmas present for someone. Uh, this just kind of awesome pen. Uh, it's a giant pen, it's going to be about a foot long, and, it, yeah, rebuild the document, please. Come on. Interesting. Uh, so, it looks like everything's in there. Let me run this section real quick. Uh, boop, boop, boop. There we go. So, yes, that, so, I even have internal workings to it. It's all threaded together. Um, it will actually click. Uh, I bought a crap ton of springs. Uh, uh, there will be more about that later. Because uh, that's part of the reason why I'm working on this uh, Nerf gun right now. Is because I went to Home Depot and bought just uh, just this variety pack of springs for like $4. And um, it has 84 springs in it. So I have way more springs than I know what to do with. And they're all just different sizes and shapes and spring constants and it's just a wonder it's probably the best problem I've ever had <laughs> so so with stuff like this um, it'll be nice to have stuff working um, I've already catted some of the springs so like that one shows uh, I tried doing some uh, interesting stuff with it um, it turned out to different varying degrees of success, but this is an actual spring that will um, that I'm actually playing with right now. <laughs> uh, I am really excited about th what's coming up with this project because it just it, it works for me. It's really nice. Um, I'm really excited about this pen too because it's actually on a wait list for a 3D printer by my school. I don't actually own a 3D printer yet, but I'm hoping that um, I'll be able to afford one someday when I older and wiser and not a broke college student but in the meantime I'll have to deal with having a print that takes under 30 hours which is another constraint but I do have some people joining in on this so uh, I'll have up to 60 print hours and like 20 prints potentially and more than that if it gets more <laughs> uh, what can I say I'm a man of many words so, yeah, so we can get started with all this, and let's just get rid of that, uh, share, save, sure, um, I didn't do anything with that, you can go away, 
Okay. Um. So yeah, I just decided I'm gonna CAD this tiny weird thing. Uh, I'm not gonna go directly into CAD. Uh, that's gonna come up later. I'm gonna have to decide what I want, and I'm gonna be joined in by with Bradley in a little bit to actually just start drawing stuff out. So uh, I know it's gonna be a Nerf gun. I have a idea how it works, but uh, I'm gonna need a little bit more to go off of. Brad has a gun, so has a Nerf gun. Yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to hopefully not destroy it if I decide to take it apart. Um, uh, I, I kind of don't want to take it apart because I probably will destroy it, so I probably won't. But uh, who knows? Yeah, so, and then we're also going to decide what kind of other stuff we're going to put on it. Like if we want it to have like a reflex side or a laser pointer kind of thing or I don't know something that goes on the ends of darts that, like, makes them go further or injures people. Uh, probably not that one, because that seems bad. Uh, and hopefully with the end of this project, we'll have some actual parts so you can 3D print a hopefully functioning Nerf gun. Uh, you'd have to buy the springs, but like I said, I bought them at Home Depot, about $4. And, yeah, uh, but... Also, there is an issue with 3D printing firearms, but these are not really firearms, but sort of. They're projectile launchers, if we want to use the physics term. <laughs> projectile launchers. Wonderful, right? So, yeah. Uh, hopefully this series will go well, and hopefully I'll be able to stay dedicated enough over the course of the few, next few weeks to have a valid reason to be on YouTube. Because uh, we've kind of been in the dead. <laughs> so uh, with that said, uh, let's look at some of the springs. Okay, so now we're here at my very uh, cluttered desk. Uh, sounds good. So let's take a look at the springs we have. So uh, we have my nice tripod. <laughs> you have a cardboard. Uh, terrific. So let's just do it now. Boom. Okay, don't turn this way. Okay. Oh, that looks nice. That works nicely. Um, I know how cameras work, apparently. Okay, so let's take a look. Come on, focus on the... There we go. Okay. So, here is our uh, list of springs. So it doesn't actually give us the, the actual... It doesn't give us the actual constants that we need. So what we're going to end up doing is we're just going to CAD these and hope for the best. Um, I think you can usually, we can usually guess which ones they are. Like, uh, stay up. Uh, come on. You can do better than this. Like, let's say... Okay, so these are all pulley springs. Um, so extension springs look like this. That hurt. So, yeah. Just they pull. Uh, these would actually be really nice. Uh, like just, I can imagine like there being a hook here. Um, you pull the plunger, it holds it there, and then something happens that like pushes the dart, so it just like goes woo. And yeah, uh, logistically, uh, I can kind of see how that would work. Um, so the other thing we can do is use one of these. Uh, this one I've already catted. Um, and I kind of made it as simple. I didn't add in these little parts, these ring parts. Uh, I know they're necessary, but uh, they aren't in a model as much because uh, springs are mostly stand-ins. That's not a part we're going to manufacture. Um, we will try 3D printing this Nerf gun, which is nice. So, yeah, and this one I already have. And <laughs> the reason why I cat it is because I have it in a uh, in another drawing. Okay, so. Let's take a look at the springs that we do have. So what I can do is I can take a look at these. So we can guess that this one, which is 1 and 5 eighths inches, is going to correspond with one kind of kind of like this. It's really long. Um, oh shit, that flew off. Uh, one sec. Okay, so we can actually just take this ruler right here. And uh, come on. Come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, close to one and five eighths. So somewhere around there. This goes by tenths. It's weird. Um, 
Yeah, it splits it. Engineering rulers are kind of nice though, because uh, these are all based on the inch. So like this is like a scale of like 20 and all that. That's how they work. I had to look that up. Okay, so yeah, we'll have to decide what springs to use. We'll also have to decide what kind of gun we want. And uh, yeah, I'll have to see what goes to it. And Oh, I think these may also be, no, these are a little bit shorter. These like pen springs. Like, I actually tried putting these in one of, uh, in one of my roommate's uh, pens and it shot the back end all the way across the room. So uh, these are beefy as hell. Okay, yeah, so springs. Just, wow, that is a lot of sway. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, well, sorry for motion sickness, but okay, so see right here, got a Nerf gun. Uh, I can't really take it apart. It's actually like riveted. Like, that's weird. Like, here, focus on it. There we go. Oh, autofocus. Thank you. You're the best. Uh, yeah, so it's all riveted. Oh, no, there are some screws, but interesting. You can almost see through it, though. So, wow, you can see through it. Holy crap. So there is actually a plunger right here. Um, you can see it right here. There's a little dark line that will pull out, and now it's right here. Huh, nice. So... So we have two options right now. So if we were to use like this spring, which um, so let's see, that doesn't take nearly as much force as this. This has a slight advantage because you do have a means to pull it nicer, and this handle right here acts as a lever, sort of uh, like third class lever. Oh, is this air powered? I'm gonna shoot myself in the head. No, I think it's a good spring. Huh, I have a hard time telling. So, we have two options. Uh, spring that's under compression or a spring that's under tension. Uh, so, I'm gonna assume that these right here have a relatively large, that one doesn't. I'm gonna assume that some of these have a relatively large uh, spring constant. Wow, these don't. Interesting. Come on, focus on this. There we go. That one does, but they're the same. Oh, wait, aren't they? A little bit. Okay. So, let's see. Okay, so if we were to do a compression spring, it'd be pretty straightforward. It would just be, we have our line there. Just like that. We have the spring wrapped around the plunger. Plunger goes there, plunger head, and then some sort of pistony thing or something that goes in the barrel and launches our dart. So, crude drawing. Uh, now, with these, it would be a bit harder, I think, because the way these are designed is so that they're stuck on one side. So, I would actually need two of them. Oh! That could work. That could actually be a strong enough pull. Yeah. So what would happen is, yeah, focus on this. So this would be like an overhead view. We'd have our spring and and so it's held on to this plunger as well as the back wall and. Something like that. Huh. I'm gonna have to think about some of this. But. Hey Brad, physics question. Yeah. Uh, okay. Wait, that wouldn't work. Never mind. No physics question. So, this is wrong. Uh, this part anyway is wrong. It would go this way, and this would be our pull handle. <laughs> um, but, okay, so this would run by a cosine of B. So it would be whatever angle we have. So we would have some advantage loss, because it would pull in a certain direction. 
but I'm not sure if that would actually be a significant loss. Okay, so uh, yeah, so sorry about the little bit of cardboard there, but people can deal. <laughs> so, uh, Brad, what's your first input? <laughs> to to make it go like just be an uh, like are we talking? We're just talking the basic like yeah like I'm pretty sure basics on the gun uh, shooting mechanisms. Uh, that can be gone at a later date. Like, that should seem relatively normal, I suppose. Oh, I could put in a three... Okay, no, 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 not, not talking about propulsion at all in this little section. We are going to talk about add-ons. Well, we can make, like, a scope thing or something like that. Like, it could be, like, something like, 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 something... Yeah. We got, like, this, then we got, like... Or I don't know what kind of lens we want to use in this uh, scope of type of like it could be like I don't know like it's gonna of course taper off somewhere like we got like some input like light going through well your eye can see B right here mm -hmm. and then you have some type of lens convex concave I don't know which one's the right one because our teacher's not too good at this <laughs> I think they're all convex lenses uh yeah probably I I I, I don't know uh, yeah I'm kind of. <laughs> clueless also. This uh, is just a lens then. It doesn't matter if it's, co it may be concave right now, it could be convex, I don't even know. That would be a lot of 3D printer material now that I think about it, but that would be awesome. <laughs> oh, oh shit! I just had a stupid shit idea. Um, okay, this does have to refer back to a propulsion, but I could actually craft this gun, like, craft it with like PVC and stuff and actually turn it into like a full blown sniper rifle with like compressed air and stuff. That'd be pretty cool. Like I'm pretty sure that friction on the barrel would slow down the uh, the dart enough that it like it doesn't kill someone. <laughs> right. <laughs> or, or leave a welt. Or, <laughs> but uh, people may have to wear goggles in the next human versus zombies but that would be awesome to have a custom like Sniper rifle powered with compressed air, like have to like pump it or like have CO2 cartridges from paintball or something. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. CO2 powered, something mm -hmm. like that. I guess a laser, it could be a standard laser, you know, like just like. Oh, just, laser sided sniper rifle. Yeah. Holy shit, that would be great. Like, it could <laughs> just go like right here, kind of. I, oh, this pen's not working, but. Like, you can oh, just, yeah, yeah, I'm here tonight. Oh, it's that. Here, yeah, just uh, use that. <laughs> Well, but yeah, it's just gonna be like something on top of it or something. We could we could work out like a laser. That's laser. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So like. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm liking this idea. So we make a huge ass Nerf sniper rifle. <laughs> so uh, the spring powered thing that I was talking about. Let's. Don't think we need to worry about that anymore. Because <laughs> uh, that would go nowhere. I think a lot of them would get stuck in the barrel. But, okay, so I think we've decided we want it to be a sniper rifle, correct? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I even like the idea we could go into like ASEC, open a window and just... <laughs> that would cause a panic, maybe not. Um... <laughs> okay, so sniper rifle. So, it would have a full stock. I could spray paint it like bright orange or something so people know that it's fake. Um, has our lens right here. 